Hey guys, Leo here. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to get started with your website on the internet easy and free using WAMP Server 000webhost.com and FileZilla. This will allow you to get started and get your presence on the web. So the first thing we want to do is download WAMP Server. WAMP Server is a Windows web development environment. It allows you to create web applications with Apache 2, PHP and a MySQL database. So go ahead and click download and follow the installation process. Now that you have downloaded and installed WAMP, we can go ahead and start it. Go to your C drive, go to WAMP, go to WAMPmanager.exe and you should see in the bottom right hand corner an icon going from red, orange and then to green. Make sure that you also have Skype turned off otherwise WAMP will not work. Where you want to save your folders, your files, the files of the website that you'll be working on, you want to save them in the www folder and within here is where you can work on your website. So now I'm going to show you how you can set up a free web hosting uh, domain. I'm going to be using 000webhost.com uh, it's completely free, there are no hidden costs, no adverts, no restrictive terms. So this is a good alternative to a uh, paid um, domain that you might otherwise go for. Um, so what you want to do is you want to go sign up. Now I've actually already got a account with them so I'm not going to complete this through. But you want to fill out the subdomain. So just type in the name of... Um, of uh, the website that you want to call yourself, um, your name, your email, uh, type in your password that you want to set and type in some text, we'll type in the text there so that you can uh, agree to the terms of service. So then you want to click on create my account. Once you've done that you want to check your emails, uh, check your email account if you've received confirmation which you probably have and you want to confirm that so you can continue. Um, so then just I'm going to log into my account now um, so as you can see I've got my uh, domain here testing my website um, so that's what I'm going to use and um, if your status doesn't say active at this stage then you want to click on the action which I don't have at the moment but it should say refresh or something similar to that, click on that and it should come through active. Once you've done that, click on go to cPanel. Now, on cPanel, this is where uh, you can control your account. What we want to do is we want to go to view FTP details. Now, we need to take note of our host name, our FTP username and our password. If you're not sure of your password, just click change account password and uh, type in your new password. And uh, we're going to use FileZilla, which is the software which is going to send our files between our computer to the domain that we've set up. So here I am at um, the download URL for FileZilla. Um, you want to click on download the latest version and follow that through, that will take you through the installation guide and uh, if you have any problems with that um, you can put those in the comments section but I'm not going to go through that because that's pretty straightforward. So once you've actually um, downloaded it and installed it, what you can do is connect to your server, connect to the domain. So we're going to connect to the 00webhost, 000webhost.com to the account that we have just set up. So what we want to do is we want to go down to view FTP details from our account and we want the testing my website so we want the FTP host name so we copy that in the host we want the username and we want to put in the password and then we can go ahead and connect. Let's establish a support the old connection and start a new connection. So what we're looking at is on this and here is our directory for our computer. So we have our C drive. And on the right here is our directory for our server. So where we want all our 
files and folders to go is in the public HTML so go ahead and double click on that if you see any files in there to begin with for the first time you want to delete those so you might see the default and the htaccess files so delete those now to get to our files our website that we have created on our computer we go to C drive let's go to WAMP www and I can see the website that I created um, the folder so within my folder is my website contents so we can just drag the entire folder into the uh, into, onto the server and that's pretty much it so I've just um, created my website on my computer and I've transferred it onto the server and now it's at that domain that I created on 000webhost.com so if I want to check this I can go to um, I can go from here to my account let's go to view account details and we can go to access your website at and you'll see if we just go to index of so there goes my website um, it's just more or less of a test to show you guys and uh, lastly um, to get to our local host with WAMP we go 127 and dot zero dot zero dot one which is our WAMP server homepage so again we want to make sure that our WAMP is running that it's online otherwise it won't work so we can click on that and we can go to my website and there we go so I hope that helped and uh, that should have got you started to um, create a domain and upload your website onto the internet. So if you have any comments or questions go ahead and like the video and I'll get back to those as quick as I can. Thank you.